Yeah, guys, the uh, possibility of a strike is looming closer than ever before, which means schools all across the, the valley could be affected, including the one that I'm standing in front of here today, Rancho High School. The union giving the district until the end of the week to come up with a better offer or pay the consequence. They have till Friday of this uh, week to change their position. And if not, then we will start to mobilize for a strike. The language is clear, the threat unmistakable. If a new acceptable deal isn't offered in the next few days, on September 10, thousands of teachers could walk, affecting up to 320,000 Valley students. The district's latest offer submitted last week includes a 3% increase in pay through 2020, a step increase for all eligible employees through 2021, and a 4% bump in medical contributions also through 2021. But union members say it's not enough. Teachers have started the school year with a reduction of their salary of 0.625. They have been on two years of a step freeze. They spent money out of their pocket to get their classrooms ready for their students. Enough is enough. Uh, there's a line in the sand. The school district promised teachers. The union also released this video on Twitter Monday, accusing the district of reneging on promises of raises that never materialized. They say the district's current offer amounts to what was already agreed upon, but doesn't include retroactive pay for those unkept promises or additional increases in retirement and medical benefits, which they say are also overdue. Now, this particular union represents about 18,000 teachers, and keep in mind, we're already down about 700 or so, so the impact could be pretty serious. The strike, according to union leaders, could last several days. Now, uh, remember, Governor Steve Sisolak campaigned on a 3% teacher raise uh, for his part. He says he's kept that promise. We're going to hear much more from him coming up in our 6 o'clock broadcast. I'm Gerard Ramallah reporting live, News 3.